How we think and talk about our experiences shifts the way we feel about them. In short, our thoughts are good friends with our emotions. So the way we think can often be completely illogical. Consider this. How many times you have told yourself something like, I am not good enough, I am so stupid I should have known this, or a negative description of anything like, why always bad things happen to me. I know that I have said these things to myself many times in my life and I know some of you told these negative things to yourself as well. Some of the things we say and do are not always particularly rational but we seem to say and do them anyway. We never really see what we are leaving ourselves with or the emotional residue of engaging in even the mildest of negative self-talk. It's not always dramatic self-talk, sometimes it's subtle but equally disempowering. If you are working on something, you might think, this is so hard. What if I do not finish in time? Or sometimes you worry about all the different ways you can mess up, which leaves you in an anxious or worried state. Sometimes negative self-talk leads to anger, sadness, or frustration that manifests in different or seemingly unrelated situations. This kind of self-talk does not make your life any easier. The more you tell yourself how hard something is, the harder it will actually seem. Unfortunately, since we are constantly listening to a steady stream of our automatic inner thoughts and have become so accustomed to the critical voice in our heads, we often do not realize how negative thoughts impact our mood and behavior and, as a result, we end up doing or not doing things our rational minds want us to do. For a simple example, take a moment to think about the daily chores you dread the most, all because you have built them up in your mind to be something worse than they really are, we sometimes avoid simple things like folding laundry and unloading the dishwasher, when those tasks actually take very little time and effort. With enough of these little persistent items hanging around it's easy to collapse them in with the bigger, more important things until we find ourselves overwhelmed or exhausted by life. Why do we resist certain things in our lives? We have a personal conversation about those kinds of tasks that are firmly rooted in some negative opinion. Look in your own life for your stuckness and you will see what I mean. You have a pretty serious self-talk blockage.